Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Esselamu aleyküm ve rahmetullahi ve barakatuhu. Uh, i̇nşallah we continue our topic on uh, charity, which is uh, very vast and uh, it has a lot of aspects to be mentioned and to be explained. And uh, in previous sessions, um, our brother Masri uh, nicely shared with us a lot of good points from which I believe, strongly believe that uh, many people benefited from. And uh, <coughs> I noticed that uh, he mentioned a lot of ayat and hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And, um, uh, you know, about charity, we can talk a lot, we can bring a lot of ayat, we can bring a lot of hadith, explanation from the Mufassirin. Mm, and uh, uh, sometimes it is good to mention uh, um, any ayat and hadith to show how much emphasis is done in uh, in Islam, uh, you know, on the on the on the topic of uh, sadaqa, on the importance of sadaqa, on the role of sadaqa, or even infaq, because uh, both of them uh, is about uh, uh, giving um, uh, a charity or uh, uh, providing financial aid to other person, especially the needy ones or less fortunate as we say and um, today we try to choose uh, a bit different approach inshallah uh, of course we'll uh, rely on uh, ayats of the quran and uh, some of the hadith of prophet but we'll try to um, extract as much as we can uh, good points out of each part of the ayats and the hadith of prophet not just generally uh, uh, in uh, you know focusing on points that it, it indicates the importance of uh, sadaqa or infaq so uh, <coughs> uh, we can bring uh, one of these ayats from surah al-baqarah uh, where allah subhanahu wa says ليس البر أن تولوا وجوهكم قبل المشرق والمغرب ولكن البر من آمن بالله واليوم الآخر والملائكة والكتاب والنبيين Righteousness is not that you turn your face towards the east or west, okay? but righteousness is about what? Uh, uh, it is in one who believes in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, uh, you can see number one, it comes Iman. And the last day, Yawm Al-Qiyamah, and the angels, and the book uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the prophets. And then after that, we see that another part or the continuation of this ayah, is about what? Wa'at al-mala and those or, or the one who gives wealth or infaq uh, and ala hubbihi uh, and giving this sifa, this uh, interesting uh, description ala hubbihi in spite of love for the wealth. Zawi al-qurba wal yatama wal masakina wa ibn sabili wa sailina wa firqab giving this wealth in spite of love to who? Yeah, to relatives Okay, the first one was one mentioned that let's start from your family, those who are close to ones, okay, that are close, close to us. Orphans, the needy people, the travelers, and those who ask for help and for freeing the slaves. Of course, today uh, slavery doesn't exist, alhamdulillah, but uh, this is the, mm, the ayah. And then after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues with uh, description of those righteous people. After Iman and this uh, giving Sadaqah, Allah SWT mentions those who perform Salat, uh, performing the prayer, وَآتَ zakat, and then those who give Zakat, وَالْمُوفُونَ بِأَحْدِهِمْ إِذَا And those who fulfill their promise when they promise. When they give promise, they fulfill it um, fully. Okay? And then Allah SWT continues again to describe these good, good people. وَالصَّابِرِينَ فِي الْبَأْسَاءِ وَالدَّرَّاءِ وَحِينَ الْبَأْسِ Those who are patient in poverty and hardship and during the battle. Okay? These are the six major uh, components that we can take from this ayah. And uh, I mean when we divide it into components and after that of course we have the result of what? The last part of this ayah, uh, Allah subhanahu wa says what? أُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا those are I mean, the people, the, the aforementioned people, the, com, the, 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 the righteous people that we mentioned with this, those who give, have Iman 
uh, give sadaqah and so and so and so and perform salat and give zakat and those who are patient when they face poverty and so and so these people are the ones who have been true these are really true people which means the true slaves of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who are god fearing المتقون, those who are god fearing you see these are the descriptions so the points that we uh, extract from this uh, in addition to what mentioned just now in addition to the fact that we uh, divide it into six components uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts this ayah by giving the tidings hmm? giving the tidings to us those who read this, uh, this, this Quran by emphasizing on what constitutes the righteousness you want to know what is the righteousness as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you want to be among the right people you want to know what is the righteous before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh-huh. then uh, and you need to know what are the righteous deeds okay and they are six so this is one point so as mentioned iman and then uh, giving charity uh, and performing salat giving zakat and being patient and so and so these are the six this is the good point that we extract from the very beginning allah subhanahu gives us these tidings then we find that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala completes or finishes this ayah giving us even more tidings by saying and those who those who practice uh, these uh, six characteristics or those who have the six characteristics they are true and God-fearing people. You want to be among the righteous people? Okay, these are the six ones. You know what more? If you do this, if you have all these six characteristics with you, you will be among the true people, the true slaves of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you will be among the muttaqun. You will be among the... Um, uh, you are, not just among, you are the muttaqun. You are uh, the God-fearing people. You see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala starts from the beginning? You want to know the righteousness and then he describes and after that even more than that not just righteous not only righteousness you are the true slaves of allah SWT, and you are the god fearing you are the muttaqun so this is subhanallah this is an extremely um, interesting point that uh, we can extract extract from this and then another interesting point of course immediately after iman the infaq or sadaqah is mentioned uh, in this ayah even before the uh, salat zakat and other characteristics that we mentioned uh, the, the the giving the charity is mentioned on the second uh, immediately after iman so, uh, it's not just uh, you know coincidentally allah subhanahu mentioned something in the quran it's very important even before zakat and prayer and so on and so to that extent uh, so what what is another point that we extract from this that this 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 point that we mentioned just now is a kind of indicator for the zakat giver uh, or for the um, uh, for the for the sadaqah giver or the one who gives something for charity look after iman as if allah subhanahu wa says look i give that much emphasis uh, you know for this uh, uh, for this infaq you want to be among the righteousness you want to be among muttaqun you want to get jannah look at this uh, uh, if you give uh, charity and you give in fact you will be uh, you see h- how much um, uh, you know uh, emphasis is done that it is mentioned as, as a second uh, characteristics after iman so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kind of encouraging this uh, uh, the, the the charity giver you know the, the person who gives charity or or in fact and then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the sadaqa receiver you see this is very interesting the one just now we mentioned the one who gives so that he will be like motivated more and then after that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes emphasis also on the sadaqah receiver I mean those who receive the uh, the help the financial help by saying and those who are patient those who are patient in poverty then immediately huh? immediately what comes the poverty hardship and during the battle I mean when there is a ghazwa or jihad you know, the difficulties that they face and among these three the poverty hardship and battle Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned again poverty it's a very difficult one poverty in many cases if somebody doesn't have enough patience he may consider it as humiliation and insult and uh, may consider his life miserable and uh, he is demotivated to continue even to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala properly and so on so why because of lack of understanding of Islam because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may test anybody with absolutely anything Okay, even prophets, you know, prophets, uh, basically prophets and the messenger are the most 
uh, you know, uh, uh, suffered uh, with the test of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then for Amsar, Amsar, yani those who are closer to the degree of prophets and so on, so the next one and the next one. So, uh, uh, which means the zakat receiver also should pay attention to this. Uh, the, the, the infaq receiver or sadaqa receiver that he should show patience. Today you are poor, tomorrow you might be very rich. Today the one who is rich, who is supposed to pay attention to the second characteristic in the ayah, that if you give you know, charity, if you give sadaqah, you are among the righteous and you are the true favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You are among the muttaqoon and so on and so on. If you, you know, if you don't use this chance now, you may lose it. Tomorrow you may become somebody, even if you would like to give, you don't have that financial ability anymore. Because things change in this dunya. So, and uh, those who are paid, those who are poor, should not consider that this poverty is forever with them. Not necessary. So, uh, they should be patient. Then, um, another point that we have is that not just any infaq, in spite of love for it, which means, you know, how to value the money, you know how it is difficult to earn money, especially in this contemporary world, how it is not uh, easy to earn, especially halal money, uh, you know, if you want to do business and so on and so on, because all around you in this dunya is about riba, deception, speculations, uh, cheating, a lot of things, you know. So, and then to become rich, and then uh, while being, you know, righteous, uh, you know, without making yourself dirty with all these uh, prohibited elements, it's very difficult. So, that's why if it happens to be that you are among those who are financially good and you are doing halal business and you earn in a halal way, wallahi, you have to be very much grateful to Allah subhanahu wa and continuously, uh, you know, focus on giving charity and being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa Now, with regards to this point of uh, giving charity, Mm, in spite of love for it. Uh, I mean, one situation when somebody is very rich uh, and he is very old and he is not going to enjoy this money or whatsoever, he gives, this is one scenario, and the other one is young, very energetic, he knows how to earn the money and he knows how to use the money and uh, he is full of energy and he loves the money and he values the money, uh, you know, and and when this this second person when he gives charity is different from the first one okay the the, the second one is more valuable before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he loves the money he knows he may how to make the money the first one he's already i mean he is not even able much to uh, benefit from this money because too old let's say so before we reach to that while we are younger when you are very energetic when we earn by ourselves you know and we know how to use this money um, and we love this, huh? so uh, that is uh, this is the best time of our age when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala looks at us. How I mean, He tests us how we uh, handle this this uh, this, uh, this issue of infaq. And uh, of course, Prophet Sallallahu was asked uh, in one of the hadiths. It was also mentioned in previous uh, sessions, as I noticed it, my brother uh, Masiri. But we extract also good points from additional to that what was already mentioned. Ya Rasulullah, ayu sadaqati a'zamu ajran. Uh, or Rasulullah, or Messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what kind of charity brings the greatest reward? He said, Anta sadaq wa anta sahihun shahiha. You give charity while you are healthy, you know, very energetic, and you love the money. And you're feeling miserly. Miserly, I mean, it's like you have kind of greed. Greed not uh, in a sense that you are greedy, stingy, but you love to earn money, to accumulate the money, to benefit from this, you know. So at that time when you give, uh, because this is the most difficult time, you know, uh, uh, for, I mean, most difficult age of that person, uh, you know, to, to give away. So if you can overcome this, mashallah, this is a, a good indicator that you are a good believer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then in the hadith it continues, تخشى الفقر وتأمل البغاء. This is description of what is sahih and shahih. Uh, what does it mean you are healthy and a bit greedy and uh, feeling miserly? What does it mean? When you are uh, fearing poverty, you don't want to, you're, you're, you're afraid to become uh, poor. So uh, you, you, you need to think how to not to go for tabzir or israf too much. And you also would like to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by giving charity. 
So it's like between these, uh, you know, like your nafs and shaitan are fighting, you know, against you. And your iman must push you to the best decision for yourself in this dunya and akhirah. Uh, and you are also hoping for a long life. You know, you are afraid of the poverty and you're also hoping for long life. And this nafs and shaitan also fighting you. Uh, and then you still make the best decision. And then after that, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, after describing all these, you know, that we have, uh, you know, the struggle that we have in this dunya, wala tunhil. Do not wait. Do not delay it. Do not delay until what? Hatta iza balagat al hulquma qulta li fulan in kaza wa qad kanu li fulan. Do not wait until the death comes to your throat. It's like the last breath. You know that you are moving to the other world and you are going to face Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you say, okay, give this much. It's like about wasiya or, you know, uh, give this much to my neighbor, this, uh, to my uh, relatives and so on. No, no need. Khalas, it's already done. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, And then I ask, uh, continue. Faridatan min Allah. Ordained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to give this much, you know, two portions for male, one portion for female of your children, this and that, this and that. And then the ayah finished saying, ordained by Allah. Faridatan min Allah. Khalas, this is the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You cannot change it. It will be done. Or the moment ruh goes out, you are not even the owner of your own wealth. Before this moment comes, give. Then you are the owner. You know what is the value of the money. When you need to understand that when you value your money, it means people also value that money. Okay? So then you give it at that time. So, uh, of course, uh, the good points that we extract from this, don't ever delay. Do it during your life. And, um, and then, uh, then uh, giving charity helps you to overcome the greed. Too much love, the extreme love for money, you, you, you break that, that wrong uh, elements of your character, constantly accumulating, accumulating, maximizing. No, 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 no. To earn the money, to maximize it in a halal way, there is no issue. But always keep in your mind. That's what Allah wants us to, subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember. You, me, everybody. The more you make money, the more you should be, uh, be thankful to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means give charity, support others, and so on. The more you give, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us, because in one of the hadiths also mentioned, and anfiq, unfiq alayk. You spend, I will give you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you give nafaqa, I'll give you nafaqa. So Allah has it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is, uh, he is the owner of everything. And then... Uh, <coughs> And, uh, of course, uh, when it comes to giving charity, it's about what you love. Okay? لَن تَنَالُوا الْبِرَّ حَتَّى تُنْفِقُوا مِمَّا تُحِبُّونَ وَمَا تُنْفِقُوا مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ بِهَا عَلَيْهِ You will never attain okay, uh, the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by spending or nafaqa, doing nafaqa and so and so until you spend from what you love. <coughs> Let's say... Uh, you have uh, five, six, seven shirts, and you don't like one or two. You like five. You keep five, and you give the two sadaqah. It's not the one you are not complying with the ayah. The one that you love, and you give. Uh, that is that is the difficult one. I love this shirt out of this five, six, seven shirts that I have, for example. I have this one, two, three, the, the most beloved ones to me. Take at least one of them and give. Then you will break that greed in your in your nafs in your ruh. So this is very very interesting important. It doesn't mean that the the number six and number seven uh, shirts, for example, uh, that you give that uh, you will not be rewarded. No, there will be some reward, but not the one that is mentioned here with the full iman. You know, with fully accept hundred percent A plus. You know, you wanna get from Allah subhanahu wa taala, then give it. You know, the, out of what uh, you love. Uh, and then, uh, of course, there is a lot to mention. Mm, and then maybe, inshallah, in the coming uh, next session, inshallah, we'll continue to uh, extract these subtleties, you know, interesting points, the very, very detailed, uh, interesting points, inshallah, and subtleties from other ayats and the hadith in this, uh, for the coming uh, session, inshallah, next week when we meet. And I think uh, not to delay, not to go beyond the allocated time is extremely important. Now it's getting almost to the 20 minutes. Barakallahu lakum wa fikum. And may Allah make us among the righteous, the good people, the muttaqun, and those who constantly keep earning halal and spending 
uh, as much as we can, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.